Newer Canon DSLRs like the 7D Mark II, 70D and 5D Mark III have a built-in HDR feature that merges three exposures in camera. This lets you tackle a variety of high contrast scenes head on by extending the camera's dynamic range, which means you can record detail in the brightest highlights and darkest shadows without need for post-processing HDR software. But how can we get the best out of it? And crucially, is it any good? The HDR mode takes three bracketed exposures. All you have to do is press the shutter button once and the camera fires three times in quick succession. Once done, it takes about 10 seconds to merge the frames and produce the finished JPEG image. Within the HDR menu, there are two main options to consider. First, you decide the difference in exposure between the three frames from either auto, one, two, or three stops. For a high contrast scene with a bright sky and the foreground in shadow, the maximum three stops produces a more detailed HDR than one or two stops. For most situations, auto works fine as it detects the amount of contrast in the scene and works out the difference in exposure for you. You also need to choose from one of five effects, each varying the strength from subtle to the wildly overcooked. Natural is the most subtle, producing barely noticeable HDRs. Art Standard cranks it up a little to bring out more detail. Art Vivid punches up the colours more, which can work for sunsets like this. The Art Bold and Art Embossed effects push the edge details further and further. It's down to personal taste which option you go for, but I found Art Standard usually produced the most pleasing results. To get the best out of the HDR feature, you need to keep your camera as still as possible to keep the frames perfectly aligned. A tripod proves useful, but it's not necessarily essential, as there's a handy align image option. For me, this is one of the best things about the feature, as it means you can shoot HDRs handheld. Obviously, for best results, you still need to minimize camera movement, so lock your arms and keep as still as possible. And if there's any movement within the frame, it'll mess things up. So if you're shooting people, you'll need to keep them as still as possible. With Align Images enabled, the edges of the JPEG are cropped slightly to allow for the movement. So if you have a tripod, I'd recommend turning the feature off. But for hand holding, turn it on and leave a little room around the edges of the frame. It helps with the image alignment if you set your camera up for rapid fire by choosing the continuous high drive mode. This is where the lightning fast 10 frames per second of the 7D Mark II comes in very handy. You also have the option to keep or discard the three shots that are merged. Other than to save space, I don't know why anyone would ever want to discard them. Keeping the three original shots gives you the best of both worlds, as you can either use the HDRified JPEG image created in camera, or if you're not satisfied with it, you can always blend the originals using dedicated HDR software. And even those who've got no interest in HDR might find the feature useful, simply as a speedy means of capturing three bracketed exposures with a single press of the shutter. The big question for those used to creating HDRs in post-production is how does it compare? Well, you wouldn't expect the in-camera feature to have anywhere near the same depth of features as dedicated HDR software. But for those who aren't inclined to post-processing or who need a quick turnaround on their images, it's a great feature to call upon. And for me, comparing in-camera HDR with dedicated software is slightly beside the point. What I really like about the HDR mode, and believe me, I was a skeptic to begin with, is the minimum fuss involved. If I was doing a proper HDR, I'd probably use a tripod, maybe shoot five or seven frames in aperture priority at one-stop intervals, maybe use a cable release, lock up the mirror, and so on. But the beauty of in-camera HDR is that you just turn it on and off you go. No tripod, no post-processing, no exposure settings, just good quality HDR images straight out of camera.